systems which are fixed in handling drainage in the cities uh, are going to be uh, successively stressed by a number of things, particularly climate change, of course, which is what everyone's talking about. Probably the main approach that I uh, was pushing in my talk was a decentralized approach uh, using green stormwater infrastructure. Um, the simple idea of stopping the water from getting into the sewers uh, in, in order to, to maintain the, the, the current capacity. Um, it is possible to uh, implement it on a grand scale, and that is probably what makes uh, Philadelphia particularly interesting right now. We are early adopters of, of the program, and um, we, have, we have really, really uh, gone full bore in, in, in implementing this, and I think that's quite unique. As, oddly enough, a driver to go further now, um, because the rivers and creeks now become attractive even within the urban environment, whereas before um, they were to be avoided. Um, so now, now that we appreciate them, now we are beginning to see what we need to do to really make them habitats uh, really functional again, not just physically attractive and no longer smell bad, uh, but also that they're fish and wildlife that comes back, and that is possible in the urban environment. So um, I think in the last 30 years we've seen dramatic improvements there. Um, but going forward, um, I mentioned climate change, of course, that's going to stress all of our systems and some of the good work that we have done uh, could be rapidly undone, particularly if the projections are anywhere near accurate. What we're doing in Philadelphia and what I think is happening slowly but surely in cities, certainly in the United States, uh, is the adaption, adoption of, of green stormwater infrastructure on a grander scale, uh, really making it an integral part of how we manage um, our drainage in the city. Uh, and I think that's very important. Um, one other area that I think needs attention, um, and it's still in its infancy, uh, and we're not doing it very well in Philadelphia either, uh, we will ultimately have to begin to integrate the way we handle our water, um, an urban water cycle. There's a lot of talk now, it's in the academic theoretical stage <laughs> of one water systems. Uh, you know, managing the urban water cycle from the time the water enters the city or falls on it to how it's used, reused, and then uh, either discharged or whatever happens to it. These solutions are citywide, and they need the cooperation not only of all the citizens, but also of all the departments. Um, it needs to be seen as a, a matter of the city's survival and, 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 and structure. And uh, so you cannot have uh, the streets department not cooperating with the drainage department or the water department or so forth. And you see that everywhere. It's not, it's not just Lyon. We struggled with that and still do in Philadelphia. Um, our program in Philadelphia will not meet, reach its end goal if we can't align the other city agencies. I think that has to happen. Um, but it shouldn't stop the city agency that's currently working on it from pushing full speed ahead. Uh, you can't wait for this cooperation. Of course, it's going to take quite some time. Mm -hmm.